What's good, YouTube? I mean, YouTube. What's good, y'all? Uh, welcome to the first video. This is probably the first video y'all watching of my offensive guy for the St. Louis Rams playbook. Probably one of the best, most, best, most versatile playbooks in the game. And what I love about this playbook, it, did, it doesn't have too much and doesn't have too little. Like, you know, most playbooks got like 13. 18 shotgun formation this has 10 shotgun formations so that means you have more quality over just quantity you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just show you all first of all we're gonna start off with the gun bunch week who you want where you want someone fast like with a little bit of height like right about here so uh right here uh, i'll probably put martavius bryant there so you want to make sure you got like probably your fastest player on your team and then like a good route runner you want like right here because he has like c routes and slants he's on and someone like who's fast right here. So that's fast. That's fine just for that. And uh, usually the play you want to come out in is a uh, play you want to come out in is corner strike. And I'm going to tell you all why. Uh, first, we're going to talk about verticals first. So I'm going to just uh, break it down. I'm gonna come out and cover four so we can go to cover three, cover two. Uh, the play, the play of verticals. Oh, my goodness. Just the play verticals. Play verticals. Play verticals. One of the best. One of the best plays in the game this year just because the motion wheel route uh, against cover four, any cover, cover three or cover four, that motion wheel route is always going to be open unless they use it or they physically move somebody out there. Like I'm going to show you all again. All you want to do is keep him on his route and motion him over. As soon as right, right before he gets set, you want to do that. He's going to go up the sideline and you just want to pass lead a little bit to the outside. Uh, if the corner, if you see the corner is breaking on it or you're going towards the sideline, all you want to do is possession catch it, but if you see the corner isn't getting there, then you can try to rack catch it like that. In that instance, you can try to outrun the corner, but I usually only do that when the ball is on a far hash like this. Like if the ball was on a left, uh, where are we at? Get into it. If the ball was on a left like this, and I'm like, okay, I might have room to get up that sideline. I wait till he hike the ball, he gets set, and boom. I try to rack it, but that's what happens when you try to rack it. The more you try to rack it, the most likely he would fail like the more likely he's gonna fail so that's the only thing with that so again we motion him out wait till he gets set and boom hit him up that sideline that time i motion i hike the ball just a little bit too early you want to get the timing down because you're gonna be able to tell like when you get the timing down. like if you if you hike it too early it's gonna look like this and then you see how he's like stuttering and it's just not smooth y'all just gonna see like y'all watch my game plays y'all gonna see the difference uh when you like, y'all just gonna see the difference when this happens like boom like, y'all see how he gets up that sideline, and y'all just see how much smoother it is. And I usually, like I said, I like a possession catch show. So that's the first thing you want to do uh, against a cover four. Uh, cover four or cover three, uh, that's that's the read you want. Uh, and then you always want to drag this guy because if, they're, if they are playing over-the-top coverage, that drag route is always going to be open. Drag route, so you don't know what I'm saying. You always want to take your uh, drag route. Like, a lot of people, when they play cover four, they like to put purples up to watch the corner routes. We're going to go back to verticals. So you hit that drag route, and that's all you want to do. Boom. You bring them out. You'll see you can easily get six yards of pop. And usually I don't like to I don't like to leave the running back on that route he's on. Uh, I don't like to leave him on that route he's on. I usually like to either block him, block the running back like this. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I like to block the running back and do that just, just in case they're sitting pressure because a lot of people are going to run into a sitting pressure. You're going to see that's an easy, easy five yards of pop. Uh. And the next thing on the next route concept you can do with this, boom! Just all you want to do is streak your tight end. What am I doing? Streak your tight end and pitch your running back on a uh, just a little like a mini out. Same thing, you're gonna motion him over, but this time we got we if we our wheel route locked up, we can go to our running back just like that. And that's an easy. I'm telling you, that route is one of the best routes in the game. Uh, go back to it, put him on an out. And y'all see, uh, y'all just see, if the wheel route's not open, they take that away. Okay, now, oh my, they shade underneath, they took the running back away. Now you can hit this guy straight across the middle. You possession catch it, go down. And then we're going to talk about the next thing, uh, the one play touchdown for cover two. Now we go into a cover two where we at. They're in a the cover two, even if they're in a the cloud flat, soft squat, no matter, verticals is a basically a one play touchdown. You streak your tight end, and you just lead this guy in a wheel route, the same thing. And what this does in cover two, that tight end going down that sideline, or when he uh when that tight end does go down that middle, it distracts the safety. And this is a one play touchdown in cover two. And this is why everyone likes to run Tampa two this year. And I'm just I just don't go for it. Like, let's go back to cover two. Uh, I don't care what they do. 
Like you motion that guy out and just wait for it. I know it, it looks scary because you're like, oh, that corner looked like he about to play it. Just trust it, bullet it, and rack it, and you're off to the races. But uh, and then what else can you do? Oh yeah. Next we're gonna talk about put that guy on the streak, and now when they start getting used to the motion wheel route, you put your running back on the out, and now you want to slant your tight. You want to slant this guy. So then when you motion him out, like say they put a flat out there, he doesn't go. All right, usually that doesn't happen. My bad, y'all. I made a stupid read. But usually most people would do this. Like, when they start getting tired of you throwing that motion wheel route, they'll bring this guy out here, and they'll use, use this guy. Or I don't know what they'll do. So then when, once they bring that guy, you're going to start seeing people literally move that guy out. So once you see that, you, you put him on a slant, and they're playing a flat, and now you throw it, boom. You throw it straight to him because now he's in that flat. You just want to hit that pocket because most likely they're going to be using that linebacker. I think that's all it is for verticals. Uh, ver you could usually, you could really make your own route concept out of this. Uh, like you really, honestly, can do what you want. Like, and then even if they're uh, like even if they start to man up, like a lot of people once they start to they start to man up this guy on A to stop the vertical route, and like they'll put this guy in a flat to try to stop you. Like, cause that's something I would do. You want to picture that guy on the right, the left. I mean, you just want to put him on an out route. That's it. Once you put them on the out, boom, they take that away. Like, I'm telling y'all, and that's why you want to have a good route runner there because you're going to want to pit him on slants. Like, because once you do go to verticals, you're going to start, they're going to be like, okay, he's not using that guy that often. So once you start doing stuff like this, and, like, really with the right guy, once they start knowing, like, this this guy on the right, once they start looking for that motion real route or that motion streak, uh, you can literally put them on whatever route you want at that point. Y'all see, like, y'all just see how effective this is, this motion hiking. And the next thing you want to do, next thing I love about verticals, like, if they go something like cover three drop and they press, like, everybody base aligns, they press. Oh, my God. Pit B on a motion fade route. Not a streak. This is a streak. Pit him on a motion fade. And all you want to do is move him over. That's all you want to do. And right when he, before he gets set, you just want to hike the ball just like that. And he gets a speed burst. I know something's wrong with Madden. I don't know why they haven't fixed it. But he gets a speed burst off the line. Uh, and this is probably one of this is probably the the most this is the most uh you play I use. And it's it's just a play you can make literally make your own reads from. You can make route concepts. That's why I love this play. Uh like I said, you just want to motion him over right before he gets set. Boom, hike it. He gets a speed burst off the line. Y'all see this in a lot of my game plays, and I say stuff like expose him. Like it's just not like when you when I see someone base line and press, this is the main thing I go to. All I do is max protect, put this guy on the street, like they do something like this. Okay, they're base line and press, and then I just want to show y'all. Dang, what? No, no. All right, there you go. Even if I'm not in vertical, I'm gonna just show y'all the motion streak route. Move him over right before he gets set. And all you gotta do is get used to the timing. Like y'all see the speed burst, he just got off the line. Throw it up, just let let, let whoever go get it, and that's an easy one play touchdown for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this verticals thing, and just remember the one play touchdown and cover two. Uh, remember like the other route concepts. You want to streak your tight end. You can put him on a slant. You can even motion drag him if you want. You can really do whatever you want with this guy, because they're not gonna be expecting a lot of that. Like y'all see how it just opens up verticals, opens up their whole defensive scheme. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if you got any questions. But until then, it's your boy J Man Floor. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the